Hey guys, welcome to the month of August. This month we have, we begin the month, first of all, in some very heated, contentious energy. We are breaking free from traditions. We are breaking free from norms. We are breaking free from long established patterns and ways of doing things as we are about to sort of take flight in like a radically new direction. In order to do that though, we know we are in a time of drastic and dynamic change right now. A lot is crumbling, a lot is coming down to sort of level the foundation so that we can build something back that is actually truly us, that is actually who we are, what we stand for, what we believe in, what we're actually meant to be, who we've always been meant to become. This is destiny activating energy. This is a period of time where universe is calling us back into the truth of our authentic potential. and. Anything that is standing in the way of that or that is obstructing that or that is blocking the path from that uh, trajectory being able to take place is sort of being removed right now, pushed aside by universe. And we are likely to find ourselves in some very interesting situations over the course of this month. I will say the first half of the month is a bit different than the second half of the month. If we can make it through to the 15th, you guys, things are sort of going to open up and the vibe is going to shift quite a bit. Until the 15th, there is likely to be some contentious power struggles that are going on. There's this juxtaposition of the old established order and ways of doing things up against like the new, the robust, the youthful, uh, the revolutionary. And these two ideas or archetypes or attributes, concepts, energies, actual people, scenarios represented in our lives coming to a head. We've got a lot of active Mars energy going on this cycle. Of course, we've got a lot of active Uranus energy going on this cycle. Also Venus energy and Mercury energy, or I shouldn't say this cycle, but rather over the course of the month of August. Of course, we are going to be ending our new moon in Leo cycle in August, and we are also going to be beginning our new moon in Virgo cycle. We have planets changing signs. Mercury will move out of Leo through the whole sign of Virgo and into Libra by the time that the month of August is finished. We also have Mars moving into Gemini. We have the sun moving into Virgo. Uranus is stationing retrograde this month, you guys, also. And so that's going to put pretty much like all of our big outer planets retrograde at this point in time, too. We are in retrograde season. So this is also a time of some like internalized redos. Like we have Saturn retrograde. We're restructuring. We have Jupiter retrograde. We're reconfiguring our beliefs about things. We have Neptune retrograde right now. We're reconfiguring like our spiritual connection and our relationship to our own intuition. We have Pluto retrograde right now. We are going through some really deep internalized transformations. We have Chiron retrograde right now. We are sort of like going back and internally healing some wounds from the past, perhaps. And now we have Uranus also about to go retrograde. And this is about getting real. Like this is about getting real, real with ourselves, figuring out what in our life is pre like preventing us from being able to express that. Like, where are we putting on a mask? Where are we putting up a facade? Where are we blocking our own authenticity to sort of like you know, uh, keep the group cohesion or not rock the boat or be accepted into something like where are we sacrificing our own identity, our own individuality, our own authenticity, and therefore like our own unique gifts and talents and abilities and our own personal potential in order to like fit some type of mold. That is what Uranus retrograde is sort of asking us now as Uranus is going to go retrograde the cycle. So we're in a period of time right now, this month, the month of August, our job all month you guys is really to learn how to act with the knowledge of who we truly are. We cannot, we can no longer derive our ultimate feelings about ourselves, our perceptions, our attitude, our own like levels of self-love and stuff like that as a result of other people's opinions, other people's perceptions, other people's projections. We're going through a period of time this month, you guys, where it is time to step back into our truth, figure out how we can act in alignment with what is our what is true and authentic to us, what is keeping us internally from being able to do that, you know, perhaps externally as well, and an ability to be able to stand in this truth without being impacted by, again, the thoughts, the ideas, the opinions, the projections, the narratives, 
the perceptions of others or those around us. This is a time of sort of some radical authenticity that we have going on right now. Uranus also retrograde, as I said, time to get real, face our fears and change the things that aren't working for us to make us thrive. That's the underlying push as we are transitioning just generally into the age of Aquarius is into the age of Aquarius right now, we are being stripped of everything that is keeping us out of our authenticity and the ability to therefore tap and cultivate our inner resources, activate our destiny and truly begin to thrive in this reality. And remember, we also have right now the sun and Leo. We are in Leo season and this sun Leo season, this is all about sort of like opening our heart and embracing that which makes us thrive, that which makes us feel like celebratory about life that which gives us joy and fun and pleasure and romance and open-heartedness and just the ability to be sort of childlike in aligning with that original source of what makes us feel truly alive and joyful and happy and like like i said like celebratory about life we want, universe wants us to live our lives in alignment with an ability to be on that page within ourselves because at the end of the day, that is what does this act, this destiny activation for us. Whatever we are just naturally drawn to or naturally interested in or naturally passionate about or naturally talented with and good at, that is those are some of the things that we are here to cultivate and to do and to serve and to perform and to align with and to express. That's a part of our being. And when we're doing that, we're in alignment with the universal flow and we are operating according to our native blueprint and as a result of that we are likely to find much more success along those lines of whatever we are doing and as a result of that experience a much greater level of purpose and fulfillment and abundance in our reality and also because then we are sort of in alignment with our heart frequency attract and draw and magnetize relationships circumstances partnerships that are also very much in support of this personal ability to thrive and that is what this energy is ultimately pushing for but of course we are in like the breakdown of this we have the south node in scorpio right now we are having to go through a lot of dark night of the soul type of experiences and underworld type of experiences in order to strip ourselves purify ourselves so that we can come back to this original frequency this original like god intention the divine vision of our purpose and creation and you know sprout that seed, go on that trajectory. And we're doing that over the course of this month. And of course, we start this month in a really big and powerful, rare, unique conjunction of Mars, Uranus, and the North Node together in the sign of Taurus. This is also talking about uh, some radical realignments in regards to the way that we are using our own potential and the way that we are living our lives, essentially, uh, the stability that we experience, the material comfort, the material abundance, the states of our finances, resources, supply chains, all of this type of stuff on a macrocosm level, on a microcosm level, likely to be going through some very abrupt, uh, confusing, perhaps, unexpected changes now and over the course of the rest of the summer moving through this month although things should sort of level out a little bit as we get to the middle of the month but the things that start happening at the beginning of this month and again through the course of July the month that we're coming out of now are creating some type of ripple effect that is going to leave some type of lasting impact in the future but more like themes sort of that we are dealing with throughout the course of August. We are, like I said, breaking from tr tradition. There is definitely some type of information war that is brewing, especially as we get through the second half of the month and um, more towards the new moon that is coming up, the new moon in Virgo. And there is a heavy emphasis also on like friends, relationships, partnerships, of course, value, money, resources, and desires also. There is a prominent Venus, especially again, as we move towards the end of the month and Venus enters the sign of Leo. Also though, fights, conflicts, battles, and power struggles really just popping off all over the place. And again, I feel like this is generally this month likely to be geared more towards like a younger and an older version of things sort of juxtaposed to up against each other or coming to a head about one thing or another. Like there's a Mars and there's a Saturn square that we are dealing with. And we're also dealing with Mars in an exact square to the new moon in Virgo. 
So there's lots of Mars action and it could be some conflicting action because we're dealing with squares going on throughout the course of this month too. So very heavy emphasis on Mars sort of all month long, also Venus, also Mercury going on. Fights, conflicts, heated words, feelings, and impulsive actions can sort of characterize a lot of what we're dealing with this month. Also, we could get some very surprising and positive. I will say there is indications, especially again towards the middle end of the month more so, about some positive news that might be coming in terms of relationships and finances and stuff like that as well. But let's go, I guess, to the beginning of the month and sort of hit the significant days that we have in terms of the transit aspects playing out this month. And I'll tell you, there are a lot of them. I went through and looked at every single day in the month of August. And there's literally like 20 out of like 31 days that there's some big business going on. So I will reference those for you guys as well, just so you know what days might be a little bit more significant over the course of the month. We're not going to go into too much detail about the energy on the specific days right now because you know that's what we do every day anyways but i just kind of wanted to give you guys a little window into the future and what may be unfolding this month and highlight some days that may be of particular significance so of course to start this month on the first that is the exact to the minute conjunction between mars and uranus and the north node is also in conjunction at the same degree at 19 degrees of taurus a new continent is right out of the ocean and this I have been talking and going on and on about this aspect I made a whole video about it it's my last video if you missed it you might want to check that one out but this is definitely creating some big dynamic revolutionary unexpected sudden like big time just profound very significant changes that are occurring and Things are probably like this is very expect the unexpected energy things sort of happening out of nowhere radical dynamic shifts along these Taurus lines again this is definitely probably going to be pertaining to food resources supply chains e economies financial markets partnerships. Um, like work projects and stuff that are going on like that and just it's it's Taurus I mean it rules finances it rules what we build it rules the things that are coming from the earth what we're working on the material comfort the material abundance any type of like luxury and fashion and fine dining and like all that type of stuff but just generally food across the board like supermarkets and stuff like that mercury is involved in that as well but Food, resources, supplies, finances, economies, partnerships, work relationships, projects, things that we're building, things that we're creating, um, works of art and stuff like that as well. These are the areas of life that we may be experiencing just some out of nowhere radical shifts or these are the themes rather where this conjunctioning is happening in your own personal natal chart by house. That's going to tell you the area of life that is more likely to be undergoing some of these shifts at this point in time. So if you look at your natal chart and you look at the house where Taurus is that is where this uh, conjunction is taking place and that is the area of life where you may be experiencing some of these uh, just like upheavals or shifts along these more Taurian lines but we've been spending a lot of time talking about this and we're not going to get too much into it today but that is how we are starting the month of August and so it is like coming in hot like coming in with a bang like very explosive energy to begin the month now the next major day that I'm looking at is August 4th fourth mercury moves into virgo on that day and so this is definitely going to be a change of vibes that we have going on uh virgo is a sign that is ruled by mercury so mercury is moving into his home sign and this should be some very strong mental energy that we have going on we should be able to focus we should be able to concentrate quite well even though we do have uranus mars like that does make it a little bit difficult to concentrate we did have mercury in that square not long ago but things should sort of like balance themselves out a little bit in terms of our mind and our mental energy although with the uranus emphasis this also could be creating you know some uh, nervous energy that we are dealing with to begin the month of August as well but definitely a shift going on in the way that our mind is working uh, starting August 4th on August 5th this is sort of a big day where that Uranus North Node Mars conjunction is being activated we're going to have the moon in scorpio conjuncting the south node which means it's going to be opposing the north node opposing uranus opposing mars and also making a square to the sun and saturn not simultaneously but that will also happen on the same day and this is a, just a big day that might be activating this mars uranus north node conjunction because the moon is a trigger planet the moon is going to be coming into opposition and so this could really be sort of lighting that energy up and so anything that has 
however that energy has been activating for you is like um, the fifth is likely to be another day where we're sort of uh, seeing things unfold along these lines. Then on the seventh, we have a grand trine and fire signs that is going on between the moon and Sag, Chiron and Aries, and also the sun and Leo. The moon will be in trine to the sun that day. We also have Mars beginning coming into exact square with Saturn on August 7th. This is one of those big squares that I was talking about earlier that is bringing this, putting this emphasis on conflicts that maybe building are going on between, again, like the younger and the older, the more youthful and the more like um, long standing. And we're talking about Mars, the warrior. We're talking about Saturn, the general. So this is like the new and the old sort of juxtaposed to each other, coming to a head, coming to a clash, a clash of wills also, because Saturn is control. Mars is willpower. This is a clash of wills, clash of the ego happening in fixed signs. So this is creating a lot of resistance, a lot of tension, a lot of frustration, a lot of struggle. This could be a very contentious day, especially with this grand trine and fire going on as well. It could be quite fiery, could be quite heated. There could be a lot of conflict going on. Um, and we also then then on the 8th, the 7th and the 8th, this is sort of a highlight day. You might want to put this on your calendar and try your best to sort of like avoid conflicts on the 7th and the 8th. The 8th, we are still in the Mars Saturn, but it is coming exact to the minute on the 8th. And not only that, we also have Venus coming into exact opposition to Pluto simultaneously on the 8th while the moon moves into Capricorn, right? ruling Saturn, where Pluto also is, and the sun will be an exact trine to Chiron and also squaring, not exact, but squaring Uranus and the North Node. So the 8th of August is a really big day. There could be some very heavy emotions, some big time conflicts going on. This is a lot of tension. This is a lot of, this is like a type of situation where if there have been abuses of power going on, especially in regards to things going on in the home or family or in regards to authority figures or in regards to like innocence in some type of a way that has been being like uh, misused or mishandled or abused or treated poorly like there is some force that is likely to really be fighting against whatever the controller or the domin like the one that's been dominating in the situation like there is likely to be something coming to a head in those situations where like there is just some type of revolution or rebellion going on that is very led by like a youthful energy breaking up that dynamic somehow I don't know. We'll obviously talk about this a lot more, but the sun is also coming into the square with that Uranus North Node. This could also bring some really like fast happening, like explosive conflicts or just changes going on for sure. On the 10th of August, that is the day when we have the sun at 19 degrees of Leo coming into an exact square to both Uranus and the North Node. This is big. This is the sun setting off that transit by square. And the moon will also be in an opposition to Pluto. This is breakthroughs, forward progress, awakening. Could be a very, very strange day, but it's also representing liberation in some type of a way. So whatever we are coming up against, whatever is we've been struggling with, you guys, for the first part of August, especially the 7th and the 8th, by the time that we get to the 10th, something is happening and we are, it, it's changing somehow. We are being liberated from it somehow. And then we are moving into the 11th, August 11th, and this is our full moon in the sign of Aquarius that is going to be at 20 degrees of Aquarius, which is, of course, forming only a one degree orb square to both Uranus and the nodes of the moon, also in opposition to Saturn. So we've got a lot going on for the this full moon and this to me the theme of this full moon that we have coming up this Aquarius full moon is breaking from tradition so that's why I was sort of saying in the beginning of this little report for our month of August that breaking from tradition breaking from the past breaking from restriction breaking from authority is likely to be a major theme that is playing out building up to the full moon as we begin August with Mars North Node Uranus in conjunction building all the way up to the moon on the full moon on the 11th with that Mars Mars, Saturn square going on and then the sun squaring Uranus like this is huge but ultimately for the purpose of this liberation in alignment with this radical authenticity remember that is another major part of this month with the Mars in square to Saturn as well 
like I said, our job all cycle long is to learn and to act Mars with the knowledge of who we truly are, you know, Saturn in the sign of Aquarius with the wisdom to be able to stand in our truth, to stand in our authenticity and to... I feel like also this is a cycle where we are sort of like winning any type of battle that may have been going on within us between our lower and our higher selves. Like if we've been fighting an internal battle for a period of time or we've been sort of working to conquer our demons or to conquer our shadows or to conquer some of the lower uh, aspects of our nature that maybe pull us into actions and decisions and feelings that we know are no longer in our best interest and that we don't wish to continue uh, walking our path in alignment with. I feel like this is also the cycle where we are leaving these things in the past where we are finally conquering them where we are finally overcoming and we are like truly stepping forward in a new direction like this revolution that is brewing within us this recreation of ourselves within us is sort of taking down like the long-standing order of power and control in regards to our own subconscious programming our own self-limiting beliefs like our own um the box that we've been keeping ourselves in through our own like inward, like thinking inside of our own box. You know what I mean? Like we are sort of blowing the lid off of that, I guess you could say throughout the course of this August cycle. And it is having, or August month, and it is really having some majorly transformative impacts on us internally. Remember, we're also in all of this retrograde energy. Big time, you guys, big time stuff. Let's keep moving. I don't want to get caught up on any specific day in this specific report, but that is what I feel like the full moon and the energy building up to the full moon is sort of priming us for. And then this full moon comes through right after we have the exact sun square Uranus and it just sort of like blows the lid off of that box, right? Of our personal convention. And we are sort of stepping out, looking around. It's like in the Wizard of Oz when all of a sudden it's like everything has always been gray, but now all of a sudden everything is in like you know, multicolor, just like radiance. And we're just like, whoa, I've never seen it this way before, but I guess this is what it is now. I feel like that sort of is what August is doing for us. On the 12th of August, we have Venus moving into Leo. This is helping us out. I feel like this is helping the dynamic of the flow of the energy. And I feel like Venus moving into Leo is going to be bringing us some good, good as just a, like along the lines generally as uh, she starts making aspects and starts moving through the sign of Leo in the context of everything else that is going on. So I feel like that's definitely a positive. On the 13th, we have more big energy. The 13th and the 14th are big time energy. Actually, you guys, in my notebook, from the 10th until the 16th, every day is like hitting something big. So you might wanna circle that week in your calendar as well, August 10th to August 16th. This is a very big week. Every day something big is going on. Like I said, on the 10th, we have the sun square Uranus, the 11th the full moon, the 12th Venus into Leo. Now the 13th, we have Mars very active again. Mars is going to be forming an exact trine to Pluto uh, retrograde in the sign of Capricorn. Now remember, Mars and Pluto, these are both the co-rulers of the sign of Scorpio, where the south node is right now, which is what we are releasing, what we are moving away from, what we are breaking free from, the karmic detox that we are going through, and what we are like graduating from and moving on from and transitioning out of. Like I've been talking about this, pro this uh, transformation that we're going through right now. Pluto also rules transformation, but Mars and Pluto together, this is like destruction, this is demolition, and this is a very also like breaking things down type of energy, you guys. Very, very potent, powerful force that we have going on on the 13th. And it's not only that, we also have the sun in an opposition to Saturn on the 13th and moving into the 14th. Both of these aspects begin on the 13th. Both of them become exact on the 14th. And so the 14th and the 13th, Another set of two big days. The 14th might be a little bit more potent. Um, the exact to the minute sun opposite Saturn. The exact to the minute Mars trine Pluto. We're also going to have the moon in opposition to Neptune on the 14th. And also Mercury is going to be making a trine to the north node of the moon and also Uranus. So the 14th is another like big time day. There could be some major power struggles going on. Some um, real ruthless forces that are sort of just like being unleashed like Mars and a trying to Pluto. This is the facilitation of the Mars energy. 
and Mars is, I believe, yeah, still in the sign of Taurus in the end of Taurus at that point in time. So there could be some fights going on for sure about resources, money within partnerships, especially like work dynamics. Uh, this could also be really breaking down or resulting in some big time like uh, dishevelment going on in terms of like financial institutions, financial markets, stock markets, resources, again, supply chains, economies, like global economies, governments, longstanding orders of power, authority, like on the 14th, for sure, especially we could be getting a lot of news about it as well with Mercury in the trine to Uranus and the North Node in the sign Taurus. So there could be a lot of news coming through about economic or financial unrest as a result of some type of implosion of like governments or financial institutions or like Federal Reserve or something like that. I don't know, but looking at the 13th and the 14th, something like that could be coming through. The 15th though, you guys, this is sort of the day, like if we... I don't know how, you know, I feel like the first part of August may be a bit of a challenge in a lot of ways, but it's like if we can make it to the 15th, we're going to get some good news. We're going to get some good luck. We're going to, our mindset's going to change. It's going to, things are going to seem a little bit more positive and some actual like good things are going to start happening. We just need to make it through to the 15th. The 15th, we are going to have the moon in Aries forming a conjunction to Jupiter, forming a trine to Venus. And we're also going to have Mercury in an exact trine to the North Node. There's some type of like faded destined or just like meant to be news information that is actually positive and is kind of lighting us up inside. It's like returning the hope, returning the optimism, giving us a very expanded sense of like faith and trust and hope and belief in ourselves. Uh, also like, again, like good luck. This could be actually like some type of positive financial news. It's very strange how this, uh, energy is setting up from the four, from the 13th and the 14th to the 15th, because on the 13th and the 14th, it's like, um, not looking so great but then on the 15th it's like all of a sudden for some reason we are like seeing things through a different lens or we're like feeling optimistic about the future or like we're actually getting some good news about like financial situations or work relationships or something that is going on along those lines so we can remain optimistic because whatever is going on, there's some type of turnaround that happens. On the 16th, we have Mercury forming the exact trine to Uranus and the moon will be in Aries forming a trine to the sun in Leo and Venus will be forming a trine to Jupiter. Uh, good news, luck, blessings, positivity, and expansion. And this is the day, it's sort of like if we can make it till the 16th, this is a day where we are sort of gaining a victory over those like inner demons that I was talking about over our lower selves. Like this is a day where we're sort of like pulling ourselves out of it or, you know, we're, it's like we finally gotten rid of the devil on our shoulder or something like that. Or we're just feeling like positive and self-empowered in some type of a way about maybe some type of choice we've made or some type of perspective change that we've had or some type of an awakening that's gone on or some type of decision that we've made or some type of like something that we have left behind that we've decided to like no longer participate in or do anymore or something that we've released ourselves from we are we have gained some type of victory in, over something going on inside of us or in some realm of our reality by the time that we get to the 16th. But again, the 10th through the 16th, this is some big time stuff that we got going on. On the 18th, we have the moon moving into Taurus, again, coming into a conjunction with the North Node and Uranus, activating this conjunction yet again, shocking news, information, and creative transformation. We also have Venus in the exact trine to Jupiter on the 18th. So this could be another day of some very positive news or positive like blessed miracles could be happening like shocking sudden things happening out of the blue that switch things around for the utmost betterment for us in some type of way this is that silver lining energy coming through this is us being able to see like the blessing through the disguise the 15th through the 19th could actually could be some like very positive days that are really helping us feel re-inspired that we are on the right path moving in the right direction on the 20th on august 20th we have mars moving into the sign of gemini we're also going to have the moon in gemini and we are also going to have mercury in an opposition to neptune on 
on the 20th. This, you guys, could create a bit of delusion. This could also create some fights over misunderstandings about things. And this is when the info war begins. There is an information war, like I said, that is brewing and that is really like ending this month and carrying us through the month of September, especially once we get into these more Virgo vibes. But I feel like it's sort of beginning around the 20th on the 20th when we have Mars moving into the sign of Gemini ruling news, information, ideas, headlines, media, social media, all that type of stuff. Mars moving into Gemini while we have the moon also in Gemini and Mercury ruler of Gemini in an opposition to Neptune. A battle for the narrative is going to start happening around the 20th. On the 23rd, this is when the sun moves into the sign of Virgo. We're also going to have a moon in opposition to Pluto that day. This could get a little bit intense, but this is definitely going to be creating an energetic shift for us as we are leaving the Leo vibes and we are moving more so into the Virgo vibes where we already have Mercury, the ruler of Virgo. So we're in some thick Virgo energy when the sun moves into Virgo. On the 24th, we are going to have Venus. Now Venus is really kicking into things. Venus's movement into Leo put her in a trine to Jupiter. This is really uh, bringing some blessings throughout the course of this August month. But now Venus in Leo in that fixed sign is about to start squaring the planets in her sign that have been making this big conjunction to start our month, Uranus and the North Node. So we have Venus forming the exact square to the North Node in her sign of Taurus happening on the 24th. This again could be really putting an emphasis on some upsets or some things happening out of the blue or just a very highlighted emphasis of some conflicts going on in regards to those Taurus themes again. Supply chains, partnerships, work relationships, money, uh, like financial markets, resources. I may have already said that. I don't know. I've said all of these things over and over this whole report, but that again, Venus forming a square to the North node in her own sign of Taurus, uh, definitely could be bringing some conflict or some tension or putting a highlight on these Venus Taurus themes. Uranus also stations to go retrograde on the 24th. And when a planet stations in the sky, their influence, their power, their potency is like magnified, like tenfold. And Uranus is in the sign of Taurus. Venus will be in a square to Uranus almost exact when Uranus stations to go retrograde from the sign of Leo. So again, this is putting a major, major emphasis on upsets that could be going on on this Taurus theme. On the 25th, Uranus goes from stationary to actually moving backwards. We have a Uranus retrograde going on. We also have Venus again in a square to both the North Node and Uranus. And we have the Sun moving into a square with Mars. Maybe something bringing some disruption to our pleasure or our enjoyment or our spending going on around the 25th. On the 26th, you guys, we have an exact sun square Mars that is coming into fruition. And this is another Mars square. This is another point of contention. This is another point of conflict. This is another battle of the wills, battle of the egos. We had Mars squaring Saturn and now we have Mars squaring the sun. And the thing about this Mars sun square is this is happening in Gemini and Virgo. Gemini and Virgo, you guys are all both ruled by the same planet. That planet is Mercury and that planet Mercury rules information. And we're talking about Mars in the sign of Gemini. This is fights, debates, conflicts over ideas, understanding, information. Gemini is the media. Gemini is the headlines. Gemini is the news. Gemini is the narrative, right? And then we have the sun in the sign of Virgo looking for the facts, looking for the truth, looking for the details, looking at the fine print, critical eye, critical judgment, like critical generally about understanding and a sharp mind with Mercury in the sign of Virgo as well. This is setting up some type of information war, you guys. We also have on the day that we have the uh, sun coming into a square with Mars, which will be a two day transit because Mars will move to the next degree with the sun. The 27th for our new moon in Virgo that is going to be in an exact square to Mars in Gemini. Oh my gosh, you guys. But 
for the initial square between Mars and the sun in the sign of Virgo, we are also going to have Venus an exact square to Uranus. See, Venus starts by squaring the North Node, and then she's in between both of them. And then by the time we get to the 26th, she's an exact square to Uranus. We have the sun an exact square to Mars. Again, information wars, and this is about money and resources. And the truth, Uranus is authenticity. Uranus is the truth. Venus is love, money, relationships, partnerships, work dynamics, like, like what our resources really are. This is like information wars about the narrative in regards to the truth about what's been going on with resources and what's been going on in commitments. Okay. We'll see. We'll see you guys. Wow. And then, like I said, moving to the 27th, we have our new moon in Virgo happening on the 27th. And this is going to be in an exact square to Mars. It will be at five degrees of the sign of Virgo. Sun and moon will kind of five Virgo and Mars will be at five degrees of Gemini. And I know this Sabian symbol, you guys. So I'll tell you right off the bat, the Sabian symbol, oh, I can't even believe it. A five degrees of Gemini is a radical magazine or publication displaying a sensational front page calling for action. So that is to me of all the Sabian symbols in the Zodiac, five degrees of Gemini to me is one of the most specific Sabian symbols about projecting a narrative and calling for some type of action in response to that about trying to elicit some type of reaction or some type of call to call to action as a result of some type of propaganda or some type of narrative. <laughs> and with these planets, the way they are playing out right now, um, for this new moon, it's going to be intense. There's also a T-square going on between Venus. Again, I was talking about these Venus themes. Venus is going to be at 20 Leo, forming an opposition to Saturn, a square to Uranus, a square to the nodes of the moon, all pretty close, not exact, but within four degrees of all of them. Big time, you guys. The battle is on, like the battle begins. This is the information war, and this is the new moon cycle. So this is going to be carrying through through throughout the month of September as well, taking us to our new moon in Libra cycle, which I am having a hard time even saying right now because that means that the summer is over and I feel like it just started. I don't know. It, it went so, so, so fast, but okay. With all this Uranus energy though, like that's what happens. It's like the blink of an eye. Okay, so the 27th is a big one. And then again, on the 28th, even the day after the new moon, we have an exact Venus-Pluto opposition going on and the moon in Virgo will be opposing Neptune in Pisces. So that is uh, another big activation with Venus in the opposition to Saturn. This is also talking about finances, control, authority, restriction. But Venus actually, Saturn loves Venus. So this uh, may not be super, super intense in terms of like feeling super restricted in terms of our finances. But the financial situations, the stability, the comfort, all that is likely to sort of be all over the map over the course of August yet again as well. And that is basically the last day of promise that I have to discuss. Uh, not too much happening throughout the last three days of August after that. So we are looking at, I'm just going to list them off for you guys because I just have them written down briefly. Okay, so August 1st, you guys know we have the Mars Uranus North Node exact conjunction. On the 4th, Mercury moves into Virgo. On the 5th, we have the Mars Uranus North Node conjunction being activated by opposition from the Moon and Scorpio. On the 7th, we have Mars exact square to Saturn. On the 8th, we have Mars exact square to Saturn and Venus exact opposition to Pluto. On the 10th, we have the moon, or I mean, sorry, on the 10th, we have the sun an exact square to the north node in Uranus. On the 11th, we have our full moon in Aquarius that is in a square to Uranus and the North Node and Mars. On the 12th, we have Ver uh, Venus moving into Leo. On the 13th, we have an exact Pluto-Mars 
trine and the sun is in exact opposition to Saturn. On the 14th, we have these transits still going on, except they are in exact to the minute. So the 13th and the 14th, we are dealing with the same energy, but it comes exact on the 14th. On the 15th, we have Mercury forming a trine to the North Node. On the 16th, we have Mercury forming a trine to Uranus. On the 18th, we have the Moon forming a conjunction to Uranus and the North Node and Venus forming an exact trine to Jupiter. On the 20th, we have Mars entering the sign of Gemini. On the 23rd, we have the Sun entering Virgo. On the 24th, we have Venus squaring the nodes, Uranus stationing. On the 25th, we have Uranus going retrograde, plus Venus will be squaring Uranus and the, node, the North Node in her sign. On the 26th, we have Mercury moving into Libra. We have the Sun in an exact square to Mars. We have Venus in an exact square to Uranus. On the 27th, we have the new moon in Virgo in exact square to Mars. And on the 28th, we have Venus in exact opposition to Saturn. So that is what we're looking at in terms of the date breakdown and the transits that are going on alongside of that. Again, you guys, like I said, um, breaking free from tradition, getting in touch with the truth of who we are and removing ourselves from anything that is blocking that acceptance and the cultivation of that truth okay so that we can really stand in our job all month once again is to learn to act with the knowledge of who we truly are we can't base our thoughts and feelings and opinions on ourselves on other people or other people's ideals or other people's judgments or other people's expectations anymore. Like we need to find it within ourselves and we need to carve out a path or work with the universe to step into opportunities that allow that expression to uh, really take hold and come to fruition. We are heading into all of this retrograde energy, definitely some internalized changes going on within us right now to help us with this process. Breaking free from tradition, information war, war for the narrative, battle for control, battle for the mind. That is a major indication of where this energy is moving as we head throughout this month. Also though, some very good news, some very faded relationships come could be coming into play, some very positive and beneficial friendships, like just manifesting out of nowhere. There could on the side of things be some positives that are going on with money in some type of a way or with resources or with relationships. And um, it's like, despite it all, like our heart is still okay somehow as this energy is unfolding with this Venus and Leo and the Jupiter aspects that are playing out as well. But definitely some big time realignments going on into just the basic level of our, like our daily lifestyle and our comfort and our feelings of stability in the current state of things. Not to say that we are just going to be like plunged into these realms of desperation. Like that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying, the status quo, you know, what we're comfortable in operating, you know, might get a little shaken up over the course of this month, but what it will lead to will ultimately be something that allows us to feel like much more at home within ourselves. And that's another thing a lot of times that Uranus tries to help us understand is like how to be at home in our own uniqueness, like how to feel comfortable in our own strangeness or in our own um, just like the more unusual aspects of ourselves that aren't a part of like the cultural norms and like society expectations and stuff like it wants us to sort of embrace that and figure out you know how we can use our quirks to um like create a more unique identity for ourselves it sort of sets us apart but simultaneously we can use as a strength to help us in our process of redefining what we want to contribute to the world based on the authenticity that we discover within us and the talents the gifts the resources the potential for expression creativity that that represents so we are on a quest this month, you guys, to get back in touch with ourselves, to feel more comfortable standing in that truth, to sort of, again, like win maybe the battles that have been going on within us that have been keeping us in a state of fear from doing that or making us feel like, you know, if we were to go through that process, that we would be losing something that we need in one type of way or another or, you know keep us from seeking some type of validation that we're after. I don't know, it could go a whole myriad of different ways, but that ultimately is sort of more what this is boiling down to. And again, of course, this 
battles that could also be heating up between like the older and the newer versions of things. This personal revolution and collective revolution. We are in revolutionary times, you guys. This is a full moon in Aquarius. Aquarius is also the sign of revolution and rebellion. So this is just basically the name of the game. And uh, this is just sort of what we can look forward for. And also there may be, again, like really strong attempts to sort of sway our perception of things, especially as we head throughout this month. Uh, but I don't think that it's gonna be real super effective because there is some serious Mars energy coming through and there is some serious, with Jupiter in the sign of Aries right now, ruled by Mars, it's like the truth will set you free. Like the truth is going to prevail in the end. And whenever we're dealing with Mars, because we have Jupiter in the sign of Aries, like to me, that is actually the stronger and the more blessed and the more like uh, divinely supported uh, like archetypal energy planet <laughs> that is playing out right now. So you guys, that's what I have to say for the month of August. I hope that was not too like discombobulated. I hope that you guys can under could understand that pretty well, but that's what I have to say, you guys. I hope that, you know, this can be a good little roadmap for you as you're navigating over the course of this next month, likely to be a pretty crazy month. So we're going to buckle our seatbelts and surrender to the ride. And that is what I have to say, you guys. I hope you liked this video if you did like it please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share it with your friends if you think that they would like it and be interested in what we got going on this next month as well leave me comments you guys i love your comments i always love hearing what you have to say i have a facebook page a facebook group a website and some other social media stuff in my description box below and um i'm not gonna make a video for the second you guys i'm actually sort of backed up on some things i got some things i need to catch up on but i will be back um, I will be back with a video, I believe, for the 3rd of August. So I will see you then. Have a beautiful Monday, August 1st. Uh, Mars, Uranus, North Node conjunction, everybody. And I will see you later. Bye, guys.